Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. In this video here, I'll be showing you on how to upgrade or add additional hard drive to this HP desktop computer. So first, let me show you the model number. Uh, as you can see that this is HP Pavilion desktop. The model here is TP01-1050. So in this computer here, by default, it comes with Windows 10 um, Home and Premium, right? It has the Wi-Fi card and a Bluetooth install. It comes with a DVD drive. It, this is an Intel graphics card that is built in, so this is not a uh, external graphics card that where you can use for game or anything like that. But simple processing is fine with this computer. So the hard drive on this one is 512 M.2 solid state drive. So if you feel like you're running out of room and you want to increase to add additional RAM, uh, sorry, additional hard drive, uh, this video here I'll be sh walking you through on how to do that. Uh, this is a 8 gigs DDR4 RAM and this run on an Intel i10 processor. All right, so this is the front of the computer which is gray in color. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the power button here in the top right corner, there are a few USB slot in the back Oh, sorry, in the front, a DVD drive as well. All right, so let me go ahead and open up the panel on the side panel and we'll get into the hard drive on how to upgrade. Okay, first, what you need to do is to have a torque screwdriver and go ahead and you know loosen up this black screw right here. So, this screw here is holding onto the side panel. I'll be using a flat head screwdriver. I do not have the torque here in place. Uh, it does the same work for you, but if you have a flat head screwdriver, you can actually uh, unscrew this screw here. So once the screw is loose, you can actually slide the panel to your left. So it slide this direction. And once it slide up, you can actually remove the side panel. All right, in this process here, as you can see that this is the exhaust fan, the CPU fan, the logic board, right? So this right here is the tray for additional RAM, uh, sorry, additional hard drive uh, that you can add on to. So in order to get to this place, first you need to do is to disconnect and remove this, this screw. Once you have the screws removed, the next step you want to do is to remove this black panel. The way it works is just once the screw is removed, you can lift it up and then slide out. It's just as simple as that. This is where you slide in. You see that little three uh, thing sticking out here? It's actually for you to slide it in into this three slot. Okay, so this is the, the, the black panel that you remove it. The next thing what you want to do is you want to remove the DVD drive. Okay, so this is a DVD drive. It is still connected with the SATA and the power. So you need to remove these two cable. To remove it, I'm just gonna pull away from my body. So push it to that side, I'll pull it to that direction. And then on both of, both of the cable, the SATA cable and the power cable. Once you have the two cables removed, the next thing you want to do is to remove the optical drive. To do that, you want to press this clipper, this green clipper, push it down. So you push it towards your body. As you push it, it will slide down. As you slide down, you come out from the front here. Okay, that's how you remove the optical drive. Okay, let me put that on the side. Now the next step you want to do is you want to remove the front panel. So this is your front panel. You can see that there are three clippers here. So what you want to do is you want to lift it up a little bit and push the clipper to be loose. Second, and here comes the third one. Okay, once that three clipper is open and the front panel will just slide up without any problem. All right, so this is your, your front panel here. Once you remove the front panel, what you see is this one more screw right here. This screw right here is holding onto this hard drive bracket. 
so we need to remove the screw to get to the hard drive bracket go ahead and get the torque screwdriver or the flathead screwdriver and remove that screw all right once you remove that screw the next step what you want to do is you want to make sure that the wire is not clipped on so open up this clipper and you can actually lift the hard drive bracket up and it will come out without any problem now for you to upgrade the hard drive you need to actually have the hard drive in place so what I have here is this is a 3.5 inch hard drive okay so you want to go ahead and slide it in once you slide in into the bracket you actually need to have the screw oops let me apologize you actually have to slide it in this direction okay so the hard drive the hard drive would be um, the back of the drive would be facing you not the front here right so the back of the hard drive is facing here and you do need to have four screws okay one two three and four screws to hold on to the hard drive so let me demonstrate just two screws for now uh, this is just a demonstrate purpose you can actually put two screws or four screws it is, it is up to you so let me go ahead and put the two screws on um, by the way the HP doesn't come with the screws for you okay so you need to buy the screws separately what I'll do is I'll have the screws uh, in my description below uh, that way you can go ahead and click on the link and find the screws on Amazon or maybe on eBay alright so once you have the screws installed go ahead and slide it in so what you want to do is to slide it in here and there you have it right so this is pretty much you're done by installing a brand new hard drive and the next step what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put the screws here put the screws back on here to lock the bracket remember the screws that uh, we took out earlier so good so go ahead and put the screws back on now the next step you need to do is to install the power cable so right here I have the uh, the power cable for this hard drive so to install it you need to make sure that you're in the right position so if you look carefully there's a little uh, plastic that is sticking out here versus on the other side is flat so this hard drive here you actually need to have the other side that is sticking to your right okay so push it in that's how you install the power for the hard drive the second step you need to do is to install your SATA cable the SATA cable you see that little uh, plastic here that is sticking out it should be facing on your left on the right side it's just flat so go ahead and push it in and there you have it so you just install a secondary drive in this computer here alright so the next step you need to do is go ahead and put the uh, front panel back on so the front panel here would be in the front here so go ahead and align them properly once you have them aligned you can just press it in the clipper will just clip back on so the three clips will just push it in without any problem all right so the next step what you want to do is you want to go ahead and install the optical drive the optical drive is going to go back on the front so slide it in as you slide it in you push all the way in until the clip shows on the other side and you can hear the little click push it all the way in now do not forget the two cable that you remove you gotta go ahead and push it back in alright at this point here you already installed the optical drive as well as the secondary hard drive now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and finish up installing this bracket here so slide it in so make sure that you have the three things align in the right position slide it in first 
and then this this thing will just go go right back down and close it once it's closed remember you want to put the screws here so put the screws back on to screw it in to make sure that it's all in the right position once you have that installed the next thing you want to do is a final side panel here so this is your side panel and the side panel you can go ahead and slide it in and once the panel is sliding in the right position okay and you just want to go ahead and put the screws back on just screw it in and screw it tight now uh, do I need to configure the hard drive no you do not uh, you just need to boot it into Windows once you see in the Windows uh, you might want to initialize the hard drive by right clicking the start button on the bottom left and go to disk management so once you right click on the bottom left start icon and then go to disk management you should be able to see a hard drive that is all in black that asks you to initialize it once you initialize the hard drive you can actually see the drive on 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 this pc form here so i really hope that this video helps you if you want to increase the capacity uh, if you're running out of space uh, hopefully this video helps you to in to upgrade to the uh, additional hard drive if this video really helps you please go ahead and give me a like button uh, and subscribe to the channel i do appreciate you for supporting my video on the next video what i'll be doing is i'll be upgrading the computer uh, with the external graphics card so i'll be upgrading uh, this computer uh, this computer here with the EVGA GT730 graphics card I'll show you to you step by step on how to do that on my next video so um, I will have the video either on the left here or the right here I'm not sure where I'm going to put it but yeah I will show it to you on how to upgrade the graphics card thank you for watching until next time take care